but the leaf miner lays its larva underneath the leaf in between the two layers and then as it grows and hatches it finds its way out of the leaf. Now what you can purchase to get rid of leaf miners are any kind of parasitic wasp, really tiny little wasps, but that might not help in this situation because if I let some wasps free here they'd probably all fly away. But if you had a greenhouse or a way to contain them then that might work. Um, you can see over here I've got some more of my vegetables. Tomato, my tomato plant is actually yielding. I've got a couple of tomatoes growing on my tomato plant, so I'm super excited about those. I've got squash and zucchini. One of the things I know is that they have to, uh, the male flower and the female flower have to come into contact unless you have bees in the area, which I don't think that we do. But I was able to hand pollinate so it looks like I've got a little squash that's actually going to grow. You can see I have a little, oh, no, fell off now, but if they don't pollinate, then they don't grow. So I've got squash, zucchini, kale and lettuce, another situation where I didn't plant them apart like they were supposed to be, and then carrots. And you can see I've got some little orange spots in here where some carrots are, are poking through, so I'm super excited about that. And then, of course, green beans. And I've got some little baby, little baby green beans growing on here. So because I never know where we're going to be, we're always on, we're always traveling, I make sure that all of my vegetables are in pots and containers that I can take with me. So I know it seems like a lot and it is, it is a bit to load into the camper and unload, but I love it and it's something that I enjoy. I enjoy coming out every morning and watering